Hi everyone. Wanted to share this uh, junky junk journal with you. Um, this is for a swap over on Junk Journal Junkies uh, Facebook group, and it is going to its new home in the Netherlands tomorrow. Uh, so I did want to just share it quickly with you. This really took me outside of my comfort zone um, because it's all made of uh, junk mail and just um, you know bits and pieces and scraps that I had laying around. So the cover, I've used some of uh, Debbie Ann's uh, Pimmer's Vintage Garden um, mixed media papers. I had purchased the kit and only used a few of the pages but had printed everything out. So when I was uh, looking for things to complete this, uh, I ran across these papers and so decided to use them. And that's the back. Uh, everything is covered with matte medium, so it's really soft um, and flexible. Uh, on the edges, I've used some coordinating washi tape. And then the um, closure uh, is just some suede, and um, I don't even know where I got it, but as I was looking through things, I saw it, and of course it just goes perfectly, so I thought I would use that. So, uh, going inside, um, again, I've used the uh, some scraps of that printable kit. This was uh, an envelope window. Uh, so I've put it in here and backed it again with more of those papers. And then this was uh, just a cutout from a magazine. And for a tag, I've just backed this uh, pop can onto uh, some cardstock. And then just an envelope. So the base of this is actually all opened up envelopes or you'll see some brown packing paper in here. I think I have a couple of flyers. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, as you know, I like tabs, so I just used some tabs that I kind of had laying around. Um, so there's some Seven Gypsies packaging there, some craft text packaging, and I've made that into a pocket. There's the packing paper. And just an envelope and a postcard there. And just some scraps of paper I had laying around, and that was, um, oh, a small day timer that I had last year that I had some extra pages in, and I've used that throughout. And just some planner pages from um, some work planners um, that I had been using, and just some washi tape. And more of those papers here. And just some images from, I think it was a gardening magazine. And... This was um, a Cirque du Soleil uh, flyer that I got, so I've included that. And this uh, Lindor uh, box uh, that I was going to actually um, make into a small junk journal, and I just never got around to it, and I thought, well, it's perfect for this, uh, with a little tag in it. And just a couple of things here on the back of this envelope, uh, and uh, just some journaling paper here. Some of these tabs I had laying around that I hadn't used. So there's some of that paper from that small um, planner uh, that I've just included. Some Tim Holtz packaging as a bottom tuck spot and just a little bit of extra trim I had laying around. And then this is you know, back in the day when you used to do slideshows uh, and I've just uh, put some transparency in there. And a pocket, a Kivas bag, and the cover to that Cirque du Soleil flyer. And I've just made that into a pocket. And on the back I've got a little tuck spot. And this was a card I had laying around, so I've included that. And an envelope, and I've just attached this clear um, uh, window from an envelope on front. Just some things I had laying around. This is the middle of the signature and it's a pocket. And that was, um, I think, the back cover of a magazine. This was an oatmeal package and more of those garden magazine images. And then just some Tim Holtz packaging there. And this is an envelope. And just some of that fun trim on that. And this was some wrapping paper and more of that paper. And then I've included the things to do, places to visit, restaurants to try. 
And this is a top tuck spot with, again, more trim I had laying around. Um, black currant tea, one of my favorites, so I had to include that tea bag and just a little tag in there with the other side of that pocket. And I liked, uh, this was just a cutout from a magazine, so I've included that. Some Melissa Francis packaging as a tuck spot. That's a top tuck spot. And just an envelope with, um, that was the Toronto Antique and Vintage Market from last year, so I've included that. And then this is the other half of the Cirque du Soleil flyer, so it folds it folds out, so I've included some of that to-do list paper on that side and on that side. And in here, it's just a plastic pocket, and I've, I've included some Canada stamps in there. And that's a side tuck. And more of that paper from Debbie Ann's printable kit. Another envelope. And that's a pink envelope, and then just a, another tuck spot there. And some more journaling space, and then a Tim Hortons bag, and it's quite a big one. Um, and the cover's fairly flexible, so uh, I'm sure um, my partner could put quite a bit of uh, things in there. Uh, you know, I thought this would be really good for grocery lists or kind of to-do lists around the house, that kind of thing. So, you know, keeping receipts or that kind of thing in this bag would probably be, uh, would certainly uh, take quite a few. Anyway, that's uh, a really quick flip of this uh, junk mail junk journal. And uh, it's off to the Netherlands tomorrow, as I say. So I hope my partner likes it. Thanks for watching.